joy, amen, on a Sunday morning. Praise God to wake up with a mind to be thankful Thank and a God. mind to live for him and a mind to press on in. Thank God. Did you not know that Bible did say the kingdom of heaven suffered violence? But the violent taketh by force. Don't Thank sound you. like to me that's something that's just dragged along and don't have no strength. Amen. To put out force, you got to know you got power. Amen. Amen. And it's a joy and a blessing this morning to be within these gates and in these courts to have a mind to thank him. Knowing he's still on the throne and what he's done in your life couldn't nobody else do. Thank God you. is worthy to be praised, amen, from sunup to sundown. So with the fruit of your lip and the clapping of your hands, take a little time in the privacy, amen, the convenience of wherever you may be. Amen. While we here in the house of the Lord, let's do it together. Let's give him the glory because don't nobody like no like you know. What the Lord has done for you. This not no cliche thing, but oh, when your dungeon's been shaken, your chains have fell off, and you've been turned around on your road that you might have been on. It might not have been the Damascus road, but one day you was traveling down the wrong way. Look what God has done, turning you around, amen, lifting you up when you was bound. God is worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. And yes, in times like these, it makes no difference what's taking place in the land, in the nation, in the world. God is still on the throne. He hasn't changed. He hasn't lost no strength. He hasn't even lost no sleep because he don't sleep nor slumber. Amen. He's not wary, neither is he full of anxiety. Amen. So if that be the case, if you say you know God and you say you're a child of God, where is all this stuff coming from? God is a mighty God. God is in control and he promised to protect you. He promised to keep you. He promised to help you. Thank God. And God is not a man that he should lie. Thank God. Let's look to him in prayer. Father, we thank you this morning again. Amen. For this opportune time to just do it all over again. To bless you and to praise you. And amen. We count it a joy to be, have been called a witness we thank you this morning that we are what we are as the people of God. Amen. Chosen of you, highly favored and blessed of the Lord. Amen. We have not been chosen by so many people and in so many things, but look what you have done. And we thank you for the blood that covers. We thank you for the grace that you give us and the strength that you put within our lives. Thank you, We're praying today that what you would have your way of this message, let it go forth, Lord God, in the spirit of love and power, to empower, to help those that stand in need, to give enlightenment to those that may be in strange places and those that's in darkness, that's bound by the power of Satan and sin. We're praying, God, that this word will bring forth the deliverance wrong you sent it. These things we pray and we ask in Jesus' name. And all of God's people said amen. 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 We thank God. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. We thank God for you that is here. Amen. We thank God for the saints of the most high God. Amen. God is a good God. Yes, he is. And he's worthy to be praised. Praise the Lord. From sun up to sundown, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Praise his holy name. Thank God. Amen. And when you really understand and you stay focused now, you really realize that you can do it at all times. Because a lot of things may change, but nothing about him changes. Oh, bless his name. So if that be the case, you've got every right, and then you have a reason to bless the Lord. Even when, amen, it seems like the gates of hell may be blowing up against you. All Opposition time. and conflict you may have to be surrounded by all type of stuff. you got to hear me this morning. The name of the Lord is to be praised yes. in the midst of which we're in. Because when you do so, did you not know praising the Lord for the saints? It's like before we had all this great technology and some of this stuff that's supposed to be great. If you don't get no good Wi-Fi, you ain't going to get no good signal. That's right. If you don't get no good signal, that thing is choppy. Amen. I mean, it'll shut down, won't work, and none of that stuff. Amen. I kind of still believe the landline phones it still whoops the cell phone. Amen. Because one thing is for certain, amen, when you got to the phone, you know you, you, know you can get online with somebody. 
amen, unless your line was cut. But I want to tell you this morning, amen, and got good news, amen, because knowing that who he is and who we are now because of him, it makes life worth living. Amen. Praise God. And we want to let you know, amen, praise God, that through it all and in it all, God is your help and God is your strength. Praise God. We're going to dive into the word of God this morning. Amen. And preach that, that God has put unto our spirit to preach unto you. Amen. That you might be built up, you that are saved, and those of you that are the called according to his glory. Mm -hmm. Amen. The children of the most high God, that you might grow and develop. Amen. Even the more in your personal relationship with him. Yes. Amen. Not looking to the left or right, <clears throat> but looking up to Jesus that he can build you and make you. Sometimes folks get tired, don't want to get built no more. And because their affects is all the places, but you let yours stay on things above That's and you it. just keep walking Quite and so journey in Jesus' name and let him make you that you might be a blessing unto others. Amen. And don't you never stop talking and telling of his goodness. Amen. And for those, amen, that may be hearing, those that might tune in, amen, that really don't know him in the power of his resurrection, amen, really have not got a chance to taste and see how good he is. We just come to let you know it's for you too. Yes. Amen. And don't, 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 don't take the negative attitude because people have not carried it right. We come to let you know we ain't always been what we are. Amen. We ain't, the saints ain't always been saved. Amen. Amen. We ain't always had the Holy Ghost. We ain't always said, bless his name. Amen. We said them four-letter words, and we ripped it up out there in them streets, and we cut them rugs in them strange places, too. Amen. So if there's anybody that can boldly say the Lord's side is the best side, amen, it should be, amen, the people of God. Amen. Thank God without no doubt, because yes. we tried and we live on one side, and we come to the conclusion that it's better over here. Well, if that's not you, I come to the conclusion that it's better over here. Amen. Amen. We're going to get directly into the word of God this morning because it is a serious message. Amen. That, we, that the Lord has laid up on our heart. All the word is. But in such a time as this, amen, those of us that's living saved, and God knows those that have taken platforms to seek to say God said it. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's operating under the titles that's been given to the church mm. to perfect the church. Oh my God. Amen. It's time to really zoom on in because it starts with, amen, those gifts. If the church is going to be developed, if we're going to be all of what God has called us to be, amen. If you are a preacher, it's time to be a preacher. Amen. Of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Not a preacher of politics. Not a preacher of presidents. Not a preacher. A, come on, come on. Amen. Amen. Not a preacher of organizations or denomination. Amen. But a preacher of Jesus Christ in all of his righteousness. A preacher for God that's going to stand for him. Let your zeal be for him. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Because there's things that's happening in this world today and folks going to get to running and they running now and they trying to figure out which way do I run. Mm -hmm. Amen. And it's sad to say we see it so many that have platforms or they say they got titles and they holding up all other type of banners. Right. But if there's ever been a time to keep the main thing the main thing, you got to know that time is now. Amen. So if you have been one that's been called, amen, by Almighty God, whatever gift he put in your life on this morning, amen, it's just, a, it's just an encouragement to my brethren. Amen. Keep the focus. Keep the main thing the main thing. Amen. Let the message, amen, be what God sent his son to do. Amen. And let it be his words. Amen. Not fables and wise stuff, intellectual stuff. Let it be the words of Jesus Christ. Because that's what's going to get man through this very hour that we're in. That's the message. His words are spirit and they are life. Amen. We got a lot of stuff that has hit the, hit the table. Amen. And it's ever been a time for people to be able to divide what's right. Mm -hmm. That time is now that your soul may benefit. Yes. That you may prosper and be in health. Mm. 
Amen. Come on, that you might be in hell and that you may prosper. Praise God. This was the will of God. And when you start getting that spiritual message, you understand, amen, is one thing that's needful. All right. And it is the word of God. Amen. So this morning, I want Sister Tony, amen, to get for me Luke, the fourth chapter. Luke, the fourth chapter, amen, and we're going to teach and preach this morning from the book of Luke. Oh, bless him. Thank you, Jesus. And amen, as we get to going, Lord, permit, amen, we will also touch Isaiah 61 and 3. And I pray, God, that this be underscored in your spirit in such a way there is a reason why we have the old and the new. Mm -hmm. God knew what he was doing when he rolled it out. Yes. Because they go together. And when you see the merging of them, it gives you that much more confidence yes. that the God that spoke in days gone and past, <clears throat> he speaks and fulfills the same thing. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That he gave his holy prophets thousands of years ago. Mm -hmm. Come on, say amen. Amen. If you notice something about, amen, Sister Tony of the church, amen, if you notice something about when, amen, the prophets, whether it was Jeremiah, whether it was a, 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 a Isaiah, whether it was Ezekiel, whether it was Samuel, Amos, or, or, or I mean, Obadiah, they, no matter who was saying what they were saying, because they were just vessels, mm -hmm. No matter what was going on in the time and hour that they were living in, God had a way of always speaking. Now, no, now I said God. All right. That you might know when God is speaking and when a man is speaking. All right. Because when God speaks, he brings your attention in on him. Yes. Come on, say amen. amen. Y'all hang on in there with me. Amen. Amen. When God is speaking, amen, what he say changes lives. Mm -hmm. Gives men and women to know all I need is God. He ain't all we got. All you need is him. He's everything. Amen. He's our everything. Thank you, Lord. Oh, bless his name. This thing starts with him and it ends with him. Thank you, Jesus. He brings us through is him. Amen. The church getting out of here and going out with the glory is not going to be without him. So we got to watch ourselves as we're sojourning through here. That we don't pick up ways, amen, that's not like God. And then those of us that have ministrations, that we keep the message what it's really all about. That we keep the teaching what it's really all about. Yes. Not, not just dealing with folks that's itching. I always felt like if you're itching, amen, and you got itching ears, you may need to be clean. Right, all right. Come on here now. Because I know dirt will make you itch. Yes. Amen. But I tell you, ain't nothing like getting clean, getting that bar so jumping hey, in that bad hey. tub and getting you a good old shower. Amen. I mean to God, it makes you feel refreshed. Yes. Oh, bless his name. Praise God. Ain't no sense, amen, trying to look up new ways and new directions I had to get. He chose preaching of him, preaching of the gospel. Yes. Preaching. Power, preaching strength, preaching salvation, preaching deliverance, all the things that he comes to do. Mm -hmm. What concerns him, oh bless his name. Yes. Thank God. And this is what God is doing in such a time as this. So there is a repositioning that's taking place mm -hmm. in the pulpits. In the lives of those that say they for God or they know Jesus. A lot of times if you lose sight or something else gets your sight, it can be dangerous mm -hmm. and very harmful. Say amen. Amen. Sister Tony, I want you to begin reading at Luke 4, the fourth chapter, and start at verse 14 and go down until I stop you. What did the Bible say according to Luke? And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. Uh -huh. And 
And there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. Oh my. And he taught in their synagogues, mm -hmm. being glorified of all. Yes. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for it to read. Oh my God, he went in on the Sabbath day. My God, I'm preaching. They probably looked at him like, what is this? What is this? He went on the Sabbath day. Amen. Praise God. You know, people today, they don't have understanding of the book. They just think you don't do nothing on the Sabbath. I mean, he went in on the Sabbath day. It was his custom to teach. I mean, look, look. He went in on the Sabbath day. Sound like the Sabbath came in on the Sabbath day. Right. Oh, bless his name. Amen. That For you that have missed it, amen, you got to go find that message because the Lord is the Lord of the Sabbath. Come on, keep reading. And that was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Get ready, get ready. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. Jesus opened the book of the prophet Isaiah. Come on. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Uh-huh. Because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the Pope. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel. Hmm? Yes. To the poor. My God. Come on here. He has sent me to heal the broken heart. Uh huh. To preach deliverance to the captives. Yes. And recovering of sight to the blind. To set at liberty them that are bruised. Uh huh. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. My God. And he closed the book. Yes. And he gave it again to the minister and sat down. Look now. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened Ooh, on him. My God. And Verse he, 21. And he began to say unto them, This day is the scripture fulfilled in your ears. Now Isaiah spoke about it in chapter 61. And for you may that may have forgotten, amen, Sister Tony, if you can run on over there to Isaiah just real quick. I promise I won't interrupt you and read one through three. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. My God. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Uh-huh. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, mm -hmm. to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Yes. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. God help me. To comfort all that mourn. Yes. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Look what he come to do. To give unto them beauty for ashes. Oh. The oil of joy for mourning. Yes. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Mm -hmm. That they might be called trees of righteousness. Oh my. The planting of the Lord. The planting of the Lord. That he might be glorified. Yes. And they shall build the old waste. Mm -hmm. They shall raise up the former desolations, uh -huh. and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. Now, this is what they were going to do after he came and did what he come to do. Uh -huh. Amen. I mean, it was with purpose what he was going to do, and I want you to catch something this morning. Amen. Because what we got to make sure we doing when we doing what we doing, whether we're teaching, whether we're preaching, it don't make no difference if we on Facebook, if you in the pulpit. If you on the YouTube, amen. If you call yourself taking a platform, amen, under any one of them titles that God has given to the church. And we're praying that if you under one of them titles, I pray God called you and he sent you. And if he has, you shouldn't raise your eyebrow at me this morning. I just come to encourage you, amen. Because if we're doing like what the Lord said we're doing, we should be all right. But if you have somehow lost your focus and somehow took in your eyes on what your mission is really, supposed to be all about on this day. Come on, let's get on in line uh, and begin
begin to pick back up the trumpet of Zion and blow that trumpet. Amen. Not the trumpet of politics, not the trumpet of secular kings, but what's wrong with making known and blowing the trumpet for the king of kings. Yes. Amen. Before we get to going here real good this morning, there's something that's happening in this world and all throughout this land. Amen. That's a bunch of uh, a bunch of haves and a bunch of have nots. There's a bunch of mimics and there's a and, and there's some real people. Yes. Amen. It's a bunch of stuff that's on the plate, that's on the platform. Amen. That's in disguise. But it's, if it's ever been a time for the true saints of God and those that really love Him for loving them to stand up and be a witness, to stand up and be that preacher, stand up and be that evangelist, stand up and be that apostle. Stand up and be that teacher. Those five gifts that he gave to the church. Amen. It wasn't for you to be popular. It wasn't for you to get a big name. It wasn't for you to get you a following. Right. But what we're seeking to do is get man to follow Jesus. And before they, before they can follow him, you got to make sure you following Christ. Because I hear the Apostle Paul say, follow me as I follow Christ. Yes. But that's not following me because it ain't built up on me. This thing is built up on Jesus. Yes. Now when Sister Tony began to read over there in the fourth chapter right before she dropped down to where we had a reading at the 14th verse. It was Jesus our Lord and Savior our example God in the flesh teaching us some things. If you notice how it talked about he returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee after 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 being tempted what is all of this just because you got tempted you got weak the devil is a liar amen it can come to tempt you but you don't have to fall to temptation amen we can be obedient children when you have heard what thus said the Lord now I get it if you can't stand right and it seems like you just keep falling down through the same thing because you got somewhere and your soul is under, amen, it could be a soothsayer, soothsayer, it could be a, someone with a spirit of divination, it could be a lying prophet or whatever it is, an imitator, because real men of God and real teachers of God, they teach what God said, right. and what God said, amen, they teach, and if you receive it, it gives you strength, and yes, it gives it you a change wow. yes. in your life, in your soul, in your mind, and in your behavior. Come on, say amen. amen. I want to say this morning because this lies heavy and it may hit hard this morning, but oh my God, I see a gathering, amen, of the saints of the Most High. It's time to quiet yourself like who he called you to be. Right. Amen. There's nothing wrong with being called to be saints and called to be holy and called to be strong, called to be without blemish and spot. You can do these things because great is he that's in you than he that's in the world. When Jesus became and came in this place after being tempted of the devil and every time he came what I love about him because he was the word and he was the example to us what you got to use when the tempter come. Amen. Every time the devil came and tried to get him to do something he said it is written. Amen. Now it's written and it didn't, and he wasn't talking about something written by some other man. Come on now. He wasn't talking about it's written by what you read in somebody's book. He wasn't talking about it was written because the star or now we got the heroes that have made themselves bigger than what he said. I found out, amen, there's only one word that's a living word, and those are the words of Christ. Yes. Amen. There's only one word that can turn a man inside out, upside down for the better, and those are the words of Jesus Christ. God, do not call us and put a microphone in our hand or give us a platform, amen, to teach against what he come to do. Amen. amen. If he said we can be new creatures, then the fivefold ministry should be teaching, amen, the new life. Amen. What you can do because you've been made free. Thank you. Now, one thing Jesus went 
to the temple as it was a custom and he was teaching us when you go in there what you're supposed to stick with not supposed to carry on these other matters carry on all this other stuff amen you're supposed to carry on the promises and show me how he has fulfilled everything he's spoken did yes. you not know everything in the Old Testament that was prophesied and that was promised? It was all relating to the soon coming king. It was all getting you in position to receive the great I am that I am. Emmanuel meaning God with us. Yes. Amen. It was all to get you ready to get ready to receive wonderful and the counselor, right. the mighty God yes. and the prince of peace. Remember, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. So Jesus was going into the temple, and as he went into the temple, what I love, I want to draw your attention, because this is where the text is, we're underscoring this morning. And the 20th verse, it said, and he closed the book uh -huh. and gave it again to the minister. So if you allow me today, whoever serving Zion, who's ever serving the church, who's ever serving men and women and seeking to give them Jesus, note now what happened and learn this lesson. He said here, he gave it again to the minister because it's this book you're supposed to be teaching and preaching. Yes. Glory to God. And sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue was fasting upon him. It was fasting upon Jesus. Yes. So we're saying today, if you say to yourself or to your neighbor, say these words, the eyes of all them the eyes of all of them was passing on Jesus. Was passing oh on Jesus. my God, the Lord began to deal with me in the midnight hour, letting Praise me know, God. son, there's so many that have got distracted, that have got sidetracked, yes. amen, that allowed the old man to get stirred up, and, and they're competing, and they're getting full of anxiety for the things that don't even really mount up to nothing. Amen. And amen, the work of the Lord is going to waste and they're getting caught up in secular matters and, and they're getting caught up in things that's not spiritual. Amen. And they're putting themselves on the out for it. And even some of his that he's touched. Amen. Because they went too wise and they let something slip in. And now, amen, they own record. And now they're spending that energy. Amen. Holding up something God didn't say hold up. Amen. And they're teaching things that's not... That he told you not to really get off him because what we teach and what God gives us to say is words from him. Yes. Just because you're a preacher, just because you're a teacher, an evangelist, just because you say you are a prophet, that don't mean you can talk on anything and everything. Did Amen. you not know That's that? Right. Amen. The prophets of old in the Bible that we have, the record. Amen. They didn't speak until God said speak. You're right. And when they spoke, God gave them a message concerning either telling people of their wickedness that they might accept God, or they found themselves esteeming and making known how great God is. Yes. Amen. Pray God. It's kind of contrary to what's going on in the land. Amen. With all these speakers and all this stuff that folks are saying, just a bunch of old sense knowledge. Amen. Positive thinking and motivational stuff. Amen. You got men and women that are taking the grace of our God and turning it into lasciviousness. Y'all know there's speakers out on the platform like that. And Zion got to be awakened and awoke to. Amen. What's taking place that you don't find yourself mimicking and going after these strange doctrines. Right. You got to know what God is. Amen. To get behind God. Amen. And God has always been and ain't never moved from where he's at. It's always been about Jesus Christ and the words that he spoke in the holy man of God days gone and past. And if you come up on this side in 2020 and thereon, we supposed to be following right on in with the messages that God gave men and women before you and I got here. Yes. Come on, say amen. amen. Now, if you 
you know now, let me teach something here. Because if all the eyes of all them was on Jesus, because he really brought up what was already spoken of him. Right. Through the prophet Isaiah that Sister Tony read in our ears. Amen. It was Jesus that sat down and he said, and I said unto them this day. Is this scripture fulfilled in your ears? Mm -hmm. I didn't come up in here to get caught up with what y'all doing. Mm -hmm. I came to let you know that this day, what y'all reading about, then but you talk about other stuff. Mm -hmm. The scripture has been fulfilled. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. The very thing that God told Isaiah. Here it go. Jesus is on the scene coming out of the wilderness. Not yielding to temptation. Defeating the enemy where the first Adam messed up. Mm -hmm. Got disobedient. Here come the second Adam being the quickening spirit. Amen. Not falling for no deception and staying obedient to God. This was not for himself. It was for you and I. Mm -hmm. That he might be the door. That he might be the way of salvation. That he might be the door that you can come through him and get back to God. Don't you let yourself grow tired with the old-fashioned preacher right. that's just preaching Jesus Christ and his power. Amen. And his words. Amen. So what if it don't sound all intellectual? So what if they say in thou and continue with it? All this. Look, we want the power because it's power that changed your life. Yes. If you notice when the scriptures were saying concerning Jesus and he said he's upon me because I am the one. Amen. That's been anointed. I'm the anointed one. And if he did it, we should be doing it. He was a Anointed to preach the gospel. Yes. Amen. Preach the gospel. Preach he was a preacher. Amen. He showed us how to preach, what to preach. I don't never run across something where Jesus, amen, was preaching and he was a, 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 a signature and upholding secular man. Amen. Jesus didn't do that. He came to save the lost. He came, amen, as the Bible said, that the Paul might have the gospel preached unto them. Yes. And I'm not talking about Paul and you ain't got no money. Amen. Because you can have money and still be Paul. Amen. I mean, poor, destitute. Yes. Yes. Can't help yourself. Weary and heavy laden within sin. Got the I can't help it. And can't control your eyes. And can't control your little feet. Amen. When you pull, you need somebody to do something for you. And when you're sitting in those positions, you need some help. Yes. Amen. We come to let you know that he do come to make you rich. Yes. And I'm not talking about with your bank accounts and all your stocks and bonds. But what God can give you something better than that. He can make you rich. Amen. In the spiritual realm where he can give you power. He can give you wisdom and knowledge and understanding that's more expensive than rubies and gold and diamonds. Yes. Oh, that that money cannot do, God can do it for you. And it's for preachers everywhere to preach this gospel and preach Jesus that he come to save that which is lost. And even as 